We're out at a local wrecker today looking for a few random R31 bits for Jordan's new wagon that he's got. I might grab a few things for mine as well. Um, no actual 31s, but we have plenty of these. Yeah. Well, not plenty, there's two. And what? The rear end's out. Oh yeah, this is actually the one that we got um, got the 411 diff gears out of for Nathan's already for like literally $70. Great day. Great day. We're just gonna, Jordan's getting, I think, the mirrors off of this one and then um, we might go have a look around. There's some pretty interesting stuff here. So we might go for a bit of a walk then after. Legit on that seat cover, fold it out. Oh! It's, <laughs> Get a video of that. It's probably literally from a fucking possum or underneath. Oh, this That's is, oh, this is the other one. Yeah, this has got the corner bit. I'm gonna grab this little bit. bit of, this little bit of corner trim here. Goes around there. Oh yeah. I need it red, but I'll literally just like plastic dip it or something. But, uh, and the seat rail. I want the seat rail. This makes heaps more sense than mine. Beautiful. Seat rails. Beautiful. Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. All the stock sealants and shit. Awesome. Um, the turbo one, yeah, it's a Genesis. Yeah, it's a Genesis. It's a Genesis. It's not a real case. To get to the Japanese section, you have to go through the barbed wire fence. <laughs> and saw under the pine trees. None of it's coming back. This is just because it's Japanese and no one wants to look at it. Yeah, but over there, you got like the EF. What's That would be shit that people dropped here. He wouldn't have even kind of got it. Yeah. Yeah, there's some cool stuff here, but it's pretty much all... It's silly for over there. It's absolutely yeah. Gutted. It's unfortunately... <laughs> nothing really much of use to anyone anymore. Yeah, literally some of the front stuff off that bug eye might be useful, but... Probably well, not. That's probably the coolest thing from back here that's still somewhat complete. I miss it. First gen Civic, I think. It's fucking cool, though. Was cool. <laughs> Could probably still use that steering wheel if you wanted to. <laughs> Bad luck on that one. So I'm currently trying to fit a reclinable bucket seat into my R31 and uh, to do it as cheaply as possible I'm going to try doing it on some factory rails. So I figured I'll document what I'm doing. If it turns out really good and it works great then uh, it might help someone out in the future and if not well that's just how it is. So I'm just going to document it as I go what I'm doing and um, we will see how it turns out. So pretty much what I've done to start with is I've, uh, I've got the standard rails mounted to the floor in the car without the seat on it. I've cut these to cut the, just, this is just, this is just flat cut steel shit. Um, I've cut these to match the rails. I think it was about 44 and a half centimeters to cover the rails. And then I've just on this top one for now, I've marked where the holes have to go. This is just to then to mount the this flat steel onto the rails and then in theory it should be a case of just matching up holes on here uh, to match up with the holes that are on the bottom of my seat. Cool. So I've got them going through and then a nut as a spacer to clear all of this stuff like this and all that. Um, or at least get it close enough to clearing it Then I'll do the same thing on that side obviously and then this will sit on top like that And then 
I'll put another nut on this side, like that. And then um, it should hopefully be a case of measuring the bolts on the bottom of my seat that I'm putting in and then just drilling them into here and then put a uh, bolt through the bottom of that. So this is hopefully pretty much the finished product. Um, hoping to God that these holes fit with the bottom of the seat. I'm not obviously not that great at measuring things to the millimeter or anything like that. So, but this is pretty much it. It, um, it feels really, it's definitely nice and solid. The uh, rails could use a bit of a lube up, but apart from that, now all that's left is to see if it uh, matches up with the bottom of the seat. Fingers crossed. Before I could actually fully finish the rail, I had to take my car around to get the um, the wheel bearing done that saw me home early from Drift Track. Uh, so this is pretty much what the seat's looking like. I think last time I was recording, I just had to bolt the seat to the rails. And as I suspected, that ended up being a massive pain in the ass. So, um, the seat is on the rails now. Unfortunately, I got it to that point and now it doesn't line up all that well with the holes on the floor. So in other words, it's a big, uh, kind of a massive fail. Honestly, it's not too bad. Um, other than the fact that the uh, seating height is pretty low. This is literally my eye level. So I think that's kind of how they're meant to be anyway, but uh, I'm probably gonna have to, yeah, either elongate some holes or start from scratch, I don't know. For now, I'll probably end up putting the standard seat back in and this is probably just gonna be a uh, kind of an event seat anyway, so. I may as well, I don't know if I've explained the whole thing that happened with the diff, but, um, or the wheel bearing, but pretty much the week uh, leading up to the drift prac, I went through uh, three wheel bearings in a week and um, Jordan just happened to have some at his house and we, when I bought this car, one of them was already leaking a bit of oil, so we replaced that and then um, I drove it around for two days and then that one started leaking oil and then uh, put another one in and then I got literally, yeah, an hour into drift prac and then that one started leaking oil as well. And uh, what the guy at the shop found was uh, a bunch of metal in the diff oil, uh, hopefully from just previous chewed up bearings. Before I drive this thing around again, I've still got to pull the backing plate off the diff and just see what's going on in there. Hopefully it's not chewed up crown wheel or pinion gears or anything like that. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that it's just previous bearings that have been chewed through. But um, yeah, so I've got to do that and then the bushes... Nathan's car's all good to go. Jordan's car is still not running quite right either. So hopefully at least two of us will make it to August Drift Prac or there might even be a JDM Park trip before that, but we'll wait and see. So uh, stay tuned and we'll uh, keep updating as we go along. Cheers.